Heyo, duckies! Andy Lippier back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and I've been asked this quite a lot, how to activate filters natively inside of OBS. So, say if you want a camera effect or something like that, people have been asking, there's no hotkey for it. So, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can do that. But before we get into the video, make sure you do like and also subscribe. It'll massively help me out. I've got tons of tutorials that will be able to help you and take your stream to the next level, okay, guys? Come and visit me at twitch.tv slash if you want me to answer any of your questions live on stream. Stream. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. So the first way that I'm going to show you is using a stream deck. Mine's actually broken at the moment, so I don't have it. But I'm going to show you how to set this up. But I won't be able to test it live. But trust me, it does work. Okay. Uh, so we're going to jump into the Stream Deck software just here, and OBS Tools by Bar Raider is what we're going to use. If you don't have that, you need to press more actions in the bottom right. These are all the third-party plugins that you can get installed, and you can organize them alphabetically. There's quite a few different ones, that, from little games to information on stocks, a clock. There's all sorts of stuff on there, very useful stuff. So if I go to, I'm going to go recently updated, you'll see... OBS tools is right at the top here. So we're going to press install. It'll take a couple of seconds to install. Once that's done, it'll appear on the right hand side. If not, press this button in the top right and go down to where it says OBS tools and click it on there. You can click on and off whichever plugins that you want to use on your stream deck. Hit done. Once we've got that, you get loads of stuff, like you change the source vi visibility, animation, scene switching. The one that we're going to use is filter toggled. So drag that in. It's going to ask you to set up, and uh, mine's already set up because I've got OBS WebSocket already connected. If you've not got OBS WebSocket, make sure you get it downloaded and installed. It's in the link is in the description below. It's on the OBS w website. Uh, run through this setup process. It'll take a couple of seconds. Uh, press close. Once that's done, I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it color. You can call it whatever you want with a U. I'm just getting so used to the American way now. The source name, if we now go back into OBS, the source that I'm going to be using is this one, NS Cam Group. So what I like to do to make sure I don't mistype it is copy the name because then you can't get anything wrong. That's uh, the on board. That's the next way I'm going to show you. <laughs> the filter name, if we right click and go to filters, I'm going to press rename again. I'm going to use this color correction and then go back into Stream Deck and paste the filter name into there. And that is it. That, that now is going to toggle that filter on and off whenever we press that button. Obviously, because my Stream Deck is currently being repaired, I can't actually test that live. But that it will 100% work. If you've set everything up and it's connected via OBS WebSocket, that is it. It's sorted, okay? So the other way that I was going to show you is using Leoran Board. Leoran Board's a free tool that you can get. Link is in the description below as well. It's basically like a free version of a stream deck. And if you have got an Android device like a tablet or a phone, you can actually turn it into a stream deck as well as you're seeing just here, which is awesome. That's how I control all my camera and everything like that on my stream. So let's take a look at how to do that. Once you've seen my videos on how to do the basics of Leoran Board, which is up in the top right corner just there, we can check the new deck that I've created here. I'm going to create a button by right clicking create button. I'm going to call this color change with a U Andy. <laughs> I'm turning American guys. I'm turning American. Hit create. We're going to add a command and then hit the plus and then I'm going to type in here filter change visibility. So the source name rather than having to type it in this time we can just press it and you'll see all the different sources here. So I can start typing to search and it's cam group that one and the filter name is color correction but it can be absolutely any filter and then the option at the end filter enabled is whether it true is when you press it it turns it on so if you keep pressing it it will just make sure it's turned on turned off for false or toggle so every time you press it it'll turn it off on off on etc so i'm going to use toggle for now hit done on there hit done on there so it does if you don't hit done it won't save it and now if i press color change it will completely change color just there. And I can press it as many times as I like at all. It's it's super simple to use. Uh, I'll even pull the, the deck up here so you can actually see. Because sometimes people don't believe me that these things work. <laughs> so as you can see, the color change there. Every time I press it, it changes color. 
And that is pretty much all there is to it on that one. So there are a couple of other ways that you can do it as well using similar sort of tools, but I thought I'd show you a paid way and also a free way. Like I really love using Leor and Board. I really shout about it on the channel because there's so many advanced things that you can do. Definitely check out my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy and you'll see what I mean. I even created a Noughts and Crosses game, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys and your viewers that you can just play live on stream. But you can use different things like Touch Portal, because I know that's out there. You can even use Up Deck. All these different things that you can use. It's completely personal preference, but that's just two ways of doing it there, guys. Hopefully, that has helped you out. If not, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to cover in a future episode. But make sure you do like and subscribe, okay, guys? It'll be greatly appreciated, and it'll help me out massively, okay? I don't know why I'm doing all these zooms, but apparently that's what I'm doing now, okay? It's just, just who I am. Put your rock on the stone. And I'll see you soon. And see, toggling filters. Toggling filters. That's where it's at.